What's up everybody, in this video we will learn how to create a loading screen and a loading bar in Unity 3D. Now why do you need a loading screen? Usually when you transition from one scene to another, if there isn't much going on inside of the next scene, the transition is pretty quick. For example, if I click on this new game, this is the intro scene where you see a bunch of text and maybe a couple of buttons. But what if I click on this skip button? The next scene which is chapter 1 has got so much going on, there's got like so many buildings, cars, player and also enemies. So if I click on this skip button, as you can see it is taking time to load that scene and showing inside of the Unity. Now in between that transition we want to show the loading screen and show the progress of the request that we make uh, when we load a new scene. And I will show you how to do that, it's pretty straightforward. Now let's go to the intro scene because from main menu to intro it doesn't take that much time. The time it takes from intro to level 1 is a lot. So I already have a script called intro manager and there's some code inside of that. And we don't have to worry about that code at all because the code which we are going to write now will be independent of all the existing code. So before we go to the script, let's create a loading screen interface. Inside of the hierarchy, let's create a canvas and I'm going to give it name loading screen and let's do some basic stuff. Five sixty fourteen forty and zero point five, and uh, as you can see, it's right here. Inside of this canvas, we will create a new UI image, and this will be our background image. For this tutorial, I believe that you already have a background image. Let's attach the background image to the source image area of the component. So I have the background image, which is this guy here and you can see right here let's just deactivate the message canvas for now so we can see it clearly and click on this image and click on this pivot option and when you do that click on well hold alt and uh, click on this bottom right option which is stretch and this will fill the whole canvas with the image okay so inside of the loading screen we also need another image that will be responsible for the progress of the request so let's make the width 800 by 80 and drop it to the bottom of the screen and we also need a text that will be our loading text okay so for the image and again i hope you already have an image you can use a progress bar by the way if you don't want to use the progress image and uh, I'm using progress image because I already have an image and it's creating an image is pretty straightforward. Let me show you my image here. So this is the image of the bar. It's pretty simple made in uh, Windows Paint. You can use Windows Paint or Photoshop or any online free editor. And I'm going to just drop this image to this guy here. And once you have done that, click on this simple option and change it to filled and click on this fill method and change it to horizontal. Now when you change the value here, it will also affect the image. And let's click on this text now and change the color to white and maybe change the font those two and I will increase the size of it a bit and move it to the center of the the loading bar. Now we have the basic setup ready. I will deactivate this loading screen and activate this message canvas. Let's go to intro manager and open the script in Visual Studio. Of course we need a few variables. Let's create the first one which is async. Now async will be responsible for the request that we make to load the next scene and it will give us the progress of that request so you, we can show the progress inside of the progress bar. And let's give it name loading uh, load chapter 1 or load whatever you like. The next would be an image and to use the image make sure you have that using unity engine.ui right at the top. Let's create a public image progress image and we will also create a bool scene requested. 
let's make it false and when we we will make it true when we request the new scene and let's create a public game object this will be our loading screen game object and for my game only not for you this will be deactivating the already canvas which is message canvas because if I have message canvas here and I have the loading screen the UI elements might intersect and overlap and you know might display some weird effects so I don't want that so once we have those let's go to the scene and see so when we click on this skip button the next scene loads and you can see skip calls the load scene method from the intro manager script so if you go to visual studio you can see load scene method here and we don't need this line at all let's call our async variable and we will assign this to scene manager that load scene async make sure you put async and give it the name chapter one and whatever scene you want to load here and once we have done that let's make scene request to true and uh, loading screen set active to true and of course message canvas that's only for me not for you so don't worry about this false now for the next part you can use i enumerator or you can use the update well let me show you how you can use the update method because update method is a bit simpler than using i enumerator so i will create a new method update inside of update we will check if scene request is true so this code will only trigger when we call this load scene so if it is true what we want to do is we want to get the progress of that request and to do that we will use if get the load chapter one dot is done is equal to false so if the scene is not fully loaded we will get the progress of that request and we will add the progress to progress image so let's just call our progress image dot fill amount is equal to load chapter one dot progress now the good thing is the value of progress image or fill amount is in between zero and one and the value of progress of um, that request we make to load the scene is also between zero and one so this should work let's just save this and go to unity let's see what we have so we have a loading screen which is this one we have message canvas that's for me and we have the progress image which is this guy here now if I hit play and click on skip you will see that the scene loads and the loading screen is there until the scene is fully loaded and you can also show that to the text which we have the loading text and to do that let me just create a new text and give it name loading text go further down loading text dot text is equal to loading and here we want to call this guy now as we are talking in percentages here we want to multiply this number with 100 and after that we will add a percentage sign so this will be in between 0 and 1 and then we will multiply that with 100 and it will give us in between 0 and 100 let's hit and see what happens so if I skip oh we missed one thing I believe that was intro manager text so if I hit skip you will see 90 percent so yep, that was pretty straightforward and that's how you create a loading screen with a loading bar in unity 3d thanks for watching i hope the video helped let me know what you think of this video in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos